on the show, we bring you details of the safest car in the world. The Amaze gets a bit more amazing with a facelift. And a closer look at the exciting smart and electric scooter from Aether Energy. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of CNB Bazaar Buzz. This week, I'm in the company of the safest car in the world. This is the Mercedes-Benz Maybach S600 Guard that's just been launched in the Indian markets exclusively for VIPs because it's been priced at 10.5 crore rupees ex-showroom Delhi. Here's a closer look at what this car really is about and what the management had to say about bringing this car to India. It's the super exclusive and the most expensive car in the Mercedes-Benz family, the Maybach S600 Guard. Priced at a whopping 10 and a half crore rupees, this is the third Maybach batched car and also the second armored S-Class in India. The Mercedes Maybach S600 Guard is the only armored car in the world that comes with VR10 protection. This means the car can not only withstand bullets but also protect its high profile customers from blasts, rocket propelled grenades, explosives, fires, and even heavy sniper firing. With all these extra weight of protection, the car weighs almost 4.7 tons with all the luxury and safety features packed together. Mercedes has equipped this heavy piece with a 6-litre twin-turbo V12 engine that is capable of producing a monstrous 523 bhp of power and 830 Nm of torque. The car can do a 0 to 100 km per hour sprint in 7.9 seconds and on to an electronically limited top speed of 190 km per hour. Roland Folger, Managing Director and CEO of Mercedes-Benz India joins us with this super exclusive, super solid safety car called the S-Guard, the Maybach. Uh, very, very exclusive here. This is something you want to keep in the portfolio in India, don't you? Of course, I know we've been looking at this I would say forever, no, but uh, the real story behind it is that it was only two weeks now that we launched it internationally yeah. and now already two weeks later we have this vehicle available for launch also in India. I think that says a lot about our need, our wishes that we would bring that car earlier to the marketplace. Sure, you're taking safety to the next level. The last time we drove it was VR9 protection, which was still the world's safest car. Now it's VR10. Uh, clearly you want to set the benchmark with regards to something you know as solid as this right well we have been around in the market i think for more than eight decades so we've been producing this kind of cars to the highest level of potential personal protection out in the marketplace and uh, with the other side so to speak on the weapon side always gearing up gearing up we have to make sure that the customers which purchase our vehicles are fully aware that what we can also produce is the highest level of potential protection in the marketplace sure. it goes one to one with our overall brand image Sure. A lot of consumers might not know what VR10 is all about. Take us through in terms of what this offers really in terms of safety, taking you to the next level. Well, predominantly it's when we're looking at the ammunition within the high-powered rifles that is used today at the moment. Even if you see impact areas like the front shield of the vehicle or the sides where potential uh, in, um, penetration is possible. But even if you look at these small little channels here, usually a shot that would enter here would normally go more through than in other vehicles but what we do specifically here is we build basically a maze of metal parts that catch any kind of bullets and with this car we have taken it to a new level as far as ammunition is concerned but also as far as protection against hand grenades is concerned so a higher level of protection against all kinds of hand grenades and of all kinds of outside explosives but also um, in the meantime it's basically safe um, against a new level also of the of the ammunition sure. and uh, whereas uh, in the past hard uh, or full metal jackets were, were a difficult task to do this is also the VR10 level is protecting you against full metal jackets projectiles. Sure. Uh, in terms of uh, pure performance it still packs in a V12 given the heavy armor in it 
So performance is not a slow coach. No, it's certainly not, not in this vehicle. But then again, at this price level, I think what customers expect from us is the highest level of vehicle performance to get you out of the danger zone, but also the highest level of luxury so you can travel in style and in comfort as you can expect from the top range of our model range of Mercedes-Benz. Now Honda has launched the facelifted avatar of the Amaze subcompact sedan, which now packs minor exterior changes, much needed interior upgrades and now a CVT automatic in its portfolio. Kritika recently drove the car and here's her review. It's in 2013 that Honda brought in the Amaze to India and the car met instant success. But given the growing competition, a facelift was highly due and so we finally get the upgraded model. The facelifted Amaze keeps the previous model's subcompact proportions with exterior changes limited mostly to the front. The new dual chrome grille is comparatively bold and upright and the fog lamp enclosures are bigger. At the rear, the only distinction is the redesigned tail lamp cluster that indeed looks better. The cabin gets a full refresh, though as there is a stark improvement in the quality of plastic as compared to the one found in the earlier one. The new Honda Amaze dashboard top off with a dash of silver across it is evidently inspired by the upcoming Honda BRV. It now sports rectangular AC vents, redesigned center console and instrument cluster. List of provisions comprises driver's seat height adjuster, steering mounted audio controls, USB, aux in and Bluetooth connectivity which were already available in the earlier one. However, to keep up with the rivals, Honda has added automatic AC and a 3D speedometer. The new 3D speedometer with multi-information display gets a tile with blue accents and furthers the cabin's style quotient. Also new is the CVT automatic gearbox that's mated to 1.2-litre iVTEC engine. The rubber band effect is thoroughly obvious with this one. While fairly typical to CVTs, it becomes evident when your input on the accelerator does not immediately translate into corresponding gain in the vehicle speed. As you build up the revs to 4000 rpm, the CVT starts reacting and while this might be better for those driving on the highway, getting power at lower rpms can be a bit of a problem in traffic conditions. As far as fuel efficiency is concerned, the CVT's mileage is claimed to be better than that of the manual transmission at 18.1 km per litre. There is little doubt that the new Honda Amaze comes with the promise of better prospect. It looks well defined, gets a tastefully done cabin and now CVT. The facelifted Honda Amaze's price ranges between 5 lakh 30 thousand rupees to 8 lakh 20 thousand rupees. The recent floods in Chennai did result in heavy damage not just to homes but also to cars parked in low-lying areas. Insurance companies like Future Generali do offer policies like Motor Secure that covers these kind of damages. Some benefits of this policy include instant policy issuance, toll-free assistance number for customer service and claims registration, prompt and timely claims survey, cashless or direct settlement at our approved workshops, claims finalization within seven working days from the receipt of all documents, accidental towing assistance, automated renewal reminder service. Policy is quite handy, especially when faced with damages related to floods or other natural calamities. Cases of flood, it's very, very common for vehicles to get fully or partly submerged, thereby leading to uh, partial or uh, complete loss to the vehicle. It is therefore important for vehicle owners to understand the consequences and what a motor insurance policy holds for them. A standard uh, motor comprehensive policy has a combination of covers. Uh, inundation and flood is one of the perils that is covered under this policy. 
At Future Generali, we have a bouquet of uh, add-on covers that we offer our customers. For example, uh, zero depreciation cover, NCB, tire protection, cash benefit allowance, loss of personal belongings, and uh, many other covers like these. Future Generali also managed to service motor claims from Chennai with an in-house team of service engineers mobilized to handle the situation. Also, there were dedicated towing vans for customers at no extra cost. Dedicated yards for storage of vehicles and select workshops giving priorities to customers. Also, mobile service team mobilized to arrest aggravation of loss. Uh, when it comes specific to, uh, to flood losses, we recommend our customers to avail uh, a zero depth cover. Uh, simply because uh, the new generation vehicles come with uh, additional features, safety features, sensors which are highly expensive and replacing them uh, could drain uh, an individual's pocket. A zero depreciation cover to that extent uh, will indemnify uh, a vehicle owner from the depreciation hit that he would otherwise have to pay. The other cover that uh, we recommend is uh, the engine protector wherein uh, a vehicle owner is able to uh, protect his vehicle's in engine in case he runs into a waterlogged area. This is of course subject to uh, policy terms and conditions. Clearly these policies do offer peace of mind to customers when mother nature plays havoc and assets get damaged. Coming up after the break, we bring you the smart and electric S340 scooter that's going to come to India in a few months. Stay tuned to CNB Bazaar Buzz.